Welcome back everyone. A new law raising the age to buy tobacco products has faced some backlash, but a woman here in West Michigan says it's a really important step to protect young people. Yeah, she is just 27 herself, but she's already survived oral cancer and she's using social media now to share what she's been through. Our Eric Estriva talked to her about the message that she's sharing and we want to warn you that some of the images may be tough to look at. I initially didn't really have any intentions of sharing that stuff. In fact, most of those photos I hadn't even seen. But sharing is exactly what Macy Martins decided to do after reading some of the controversy over a new law raising the age to buy tobacco products to 21. There were just numerous people, either my age or younger, that had been posting that they didn't think that that was right, that you would be able to change that, but you could serve your military and vote. And so then I just was thinking that is exactly how I would have felt when I was 18, and it could be not any farther off than that. And Macy knows the risks all too well. At 27, she's already survived oral cancer. And she says it started with a sore on her tongue, likely caused by the nine years of using chewing tobacco. Finally went to a dentist and it was, um, that's what it was. And then it progressed really quickly from there. And I was like totally checked out. Um, but then that's kind of what it took for me to stop. So Macy shared her story and photos on Facebook, hoping it might save someone else. But I know when I saw them, I would just look away because it was so uncomfortable. I think that they need to be that gruesome because that is the reality of it. It has since been shared hundreds of times. Macy says she supports the new law because you might make better choices at 21 than 18. It's just that there's no benefit to leaving it at 18 and they really are doing you a favor. She also wants tobacco users to remember their choices can negatively impact others as well. Like it is your entire family that has to pay for the consequences of that. Macy considers herself lucky because she saw firsthand during her recovery how much worse it could have been. Now a cancer survivor, she has quit tobacco and plans to eventually start a family, hoping her future children won't follow in her footsteps. That hopefully by then it won't even be as common. Hopefully it will stop being pushed or advertised at all. In Six Lakes, Erica Striva, Fox 17 News.